And what do the seasons teach us? Hmm. The seasons can teach us a lot of things. Depending on where you live in the world, there's often change. You know, change in the weather. I mean, maybe if you're in the desert, you know, a hot, humid area of the world where it's hot all the time and dry and dusty, there's still change. You're still going to have night. You're, you're going to have daytime, morning time, early evening time. Things are always changing. But in some parts of the world, like in New England, where, where I grew up, there was constant change. Seasons. So summertime is, everything's in bloom and just fresh and green and lush. It's hot mostly, but sometimes it's just warm. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it thunderstorms, sometimes it's just, sun, most of the time it's sunny there's change going on in the summer in that season and then nature knows what it does the earth rotates a certain way it's just beautiful it's a beautiful machine um, you know the earth knows exactly what to do it goes around the sun we call it the sun it's a star it's just perfectly balanced it's perfectly created it knows exactly what to do turn at the right axis point changes things up a little bit goes around the earth, gets a little drag on uh, the gravity, changing the tides of the oceans. But as the earth turns and the earth moves around the sun, we change the seasons a little bit depending on where you are in the world. And when the seasons change, like from summer to fall, the trees know. The trees know exactly what to do. The plants and trees know exactly what to do. They, uh, they put all their nutrients down through their branches, down through the, the trunk, down into the roots, store up in the roots. If you study the study trees, you'll find so many nutrients and so much energy down in the roots. Um, throughout the whole tree, mostly, but definitely in the fall, um, it, it sends its energy down into the roots to hold it. And then the leaves wither away. The energy moves from the leaves down into the ground, down into its roots, and the leaves fall leaves rot, eventually turn into dirt, which is going to help produce more trees when the seeds land in the, in the leaves. And there's fall, and the leaves fall, and things change. It's cooler, cooler weather, cooler nights. Things are a little bit more quiet. A lot of animals hibernate or move to warmer climates. And then come around February, let's say March or April even, sometimes May, somewhere in there, spring arrives. And that's another big change. That's uh, a big change in life. Things, things bloom, things blossom, they, they awaken. The trees, the plants, the flowers, the birds come back. Animals start to come out of their hibernation, out of their holes. Life emerges and starts again. And now we're in spring, full blossom, full bloom, fresh new growth. And it's, again, a system over and over and over. And what does it teach us? I, I, I just, I'm just amazed and marveled at, at what I see in nature. And I think we all should. You know, in the winter, you could look at an icicle, how beautiful an icicle is, or the shape of a snowflake. You know, in the springtime, it's a budding flower, or a bee on a flower. It's beautiful. In the summertime, it's, you say no more. You know, you get these beautiful branches of leaves swaying on a nice warm day fresh, clean, warm air. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just remarkable. In fall, the beautiful leaves, the colors that these leaves produce is just amazing. It's just beautiful. If you stop and look at it and just, just, just look, just observe, observe it. And uh, you can just, if, if you're lucky enough to be able to smell it, smell it. If you're lucky enough to see it, see it. Hear it. Sometimes taste it. You can taste the flavors of fall, like in a pumpkin cider and different things there's hot chocolate in the winter time you can you can taste a lot of different things in the different seasons but just observe it and pick up on the beauty and just breathe just just breathe gently don't force it just breathe and, and just look kind of like a bird sitting on a perch just kind of looking around and observe nature and think about the change changes that happen and the storms the violent storms that come and go that's what nature can teach us. Change, enduring the storms, having the balance 
the yin yang, the zen of change of weather. It's really pretty cool because it just endures change. Nature doesn't rely on a good day or a bad day, it just is. Some days it's beautiful weather, some days it's unpleasant weather, but nonetheless, really all it is is just change, it's just weather, it just is. So, let nature teach you that. Change, enduring the storms, embracing the good and the bad. That's what nature teaches me.